Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Vashti from Hoyts at Home and I'm a mom of three littles. In today's video, I wanna share with you 10 DIY busy bag activities that I have made that have been a great way to keep my kids learning, engaged, and most importantly, having lots of fun. So I hope this video can be a source of inspiration for you. And with that being said, let's jump right in. So for this one, I had a really fun time making these. I saw similar ideas on Pinterest, so there are a few ways to go about making these. If you have cardboard or cardstock, you can make stick cutouts and then just color or paint the circles on it if you want. Today, I'm showing you how I used popsicle sticks from the dollar store and stickers to create mine. I will also be showing you a few other ways I have used these popsicle sticks and stickers to create other activities. It's so great to be able to use the same materials you already have. Anyways, after applying the stickers onto the popsicle sticks, I used a very fine knife to cut down the middle. You do see that it's a little rough and I had to be super careful when I was slicing so I wouldn't peel the stickers off. I just took it really slow. And then I used Mod Podge to secure the stickers on and keep them in place. I apply Mod Podge to all my wooden activities, whether it's stickers or paint. Now that my son is older, this is like the next step to color sorting games for older toddlers and preschoolers. Definitely more of a challenge now. So with this, they are just finding each of their matches and putting them together. If you have a lot of pieces like I do, it can be a little overwhelming for a toddler to be sorting through. So starting out with just a few sets at a time and then working your way up is probably the best way to go when they are starting out. But this is really good for introducing patterns and I just love watching my son use his brain and concentration to figure out where each of the matches are. It's like he is solving a problem and it's great to see him figure it out. So this is a really fun one and similar to the last activity I showed you. It's like a jigsaw puzzle but with a personal touch to it and you can get really creative with the pictures that you want to use. I had recently gotten some family photos developed and I had a bunch of different duplicates so I thought I'd use them to create this little activity. For this I'll throw my parents under the bus here and show you how it works. So again I used what was left of these jumbo popsicle sticks then trace them with a pencil onto the back of the pictures and cut them out and then glued the pictures to the popsicle stick. My kids love puzzles, so I thought this would be a really great one for them, especially because it's family. So basically all they are doing is aligning the picture with the correct popsicle sticks to create a perfect photo of the ones they love. I definitely will be adding more to this as it's such a hit but as you will see with the upcoming activities, I just finally ran out of those popsicle sticks, so I will have to get more. So this one is pretty easy and straightforward to put together. If you order the dot stickers off of Amazon instead of getting them at a store, it can come in packs of like 400 stickers, so there's a lot you can do with that many. You can just keep reusing them for different activities and the options are endless. So you will see me using these a lot because they definitely come in handy. I used these bamboo clothespins. I originally found these pre-painted clothespins at the dollar store and they were really small and cute. Thought they would be great for those little hands, but they were actually really tough for my three-year-old's fingers to push down on and he got really frustrated with it. I know the whole point is to challenge them and help strengthen their pincer grasp, but these bamboo clothespins were much easier for his little fingers to grasp and so I ended up just having to use acrylic paint and use these instead. I'm sure now that he is four, he can try those other ones again and take one more of a challenge. So yeah, all they would be doing here is matching the color clothespins to the colors on the popsicle stick. And this one here is quite similar as well, just using the same jumbo popsicle sticks from the dollar store. I also found these small letter clothespins there as well. Just another way for him to work on his fine motor skills while learning and getting familiar with his ABCs and letter recognition. 
just super quick to put this together using a pen or marker to write down the letters on the sticker. I tried to keep the colors coordinated with the clothespin letter. Again, really nice to be able to use the same materials I already have, but in different ways. So this is another fine motor skill activity. I ended up making this wooden circle on my Cricut machine, but I'm sure you can find a different way to make this, like making a circle cutout from cardboard. I have definitely done that before. Then I used these number stickers and placed them onto the circle cutout and on top of these dollar store wood circles, and then hot glued them to these bamboo clothespins. So the goal of this game is to match the numbers together. You can encourage them to go in order to help them recognize each number and count them out loud as they go, or you can just let them match them as they see fit. I've done both and either or is still helping them gain their number recognition and fine motor skills, as well as building that concentration as they steady their hand to place it on the proper sticker. Okay, so this is another idea I got from Pinterest, though here I'm just using my own materials and I like using wood pieces in my activities if I can help it, but there are definitely different ways you can go about this. This is also where I start getting into some of the digital prints that I made. You definitely don't need to do this either. I've seen people draw and color their own visual discrimination cards without using a printer and using cardboard for the game board, as well as cutting out their own manipulatives for the matching part. But as you can see, I'm using the wood circles for that. All the wood pieces I have here are from the dollar store, so not expensive at all. And I drew some lines on the board with a ruler and marker. This is to be used as the visual discrimination board and I made these digital prints on Microsoft. I have since learned that Canva is much easier by the way, and then just printed, laminated, and cut them out. Then I placed the dot stickers on each of these wood circles and again, just Mod Podged them. My son just recently turned four. He was three at the time of these videos and when I started introducing these types of games to him. I have noticed that his attention span is getting better, but when we first started out, he was done after like five rounds and assistance was needed to guide and encourage him through each of the cards. That being said, he actually really enjoys it and it's been so cool to see his capacity grow each time he plays. So this is exactly the same as the last activity, except this time I'm using numbers instead of colors. My four-year-old really enjoyed the other game, so I thought I'd incorporate these number stickers into his learning. It's great because when I'm sitting down watching him do this, I am calling out the numbers and asking him what they are, and it's just a great way for him to get familiar with what his numbers are, and it has really been helping with that number recognition. At the same time, working on that cognitive development, which is really amazing, so this has been a really good one too. So the thing I like about this busy bag activity is that it can actually be used as a three-in-one type of game. These blocks are from a couple sets of Jenga games that I got from the dollar store, and I wanted to use these wood blocks for something different and fun. I'm all about natural wood pieces, so this one was another fun way for me to use my creativity and make another fun, challenging, matching game. At this point in time, I didn't have a printer that was working, so I had to trace the blocks and put stickers on the paper to laminate. When using it for visual discrimination, I started the cards off easy, and then the further along you get, it gets more challenging. You can use the whole batch or use a few blocks at a time. Assistance is needed at first if you choose to use all the blocks at once. I know the first few times my son played this, after getting past the easy levels, he wanted me to help him find the pieces faster, but he got better at doing it on his own as time went on, and now, depending on the day, he can use the whole bag of blocks without much assistance. So I call this the three-in-one game because not only can you use this as the visual discrimination activity, you can also still play Jenga or tower building games with this as well. And I didn't realize up until a couple months ago that this could also serve as a fun domino game. 
So I definitely love when you can use a game for multiple purposes, so it's definitely been great to have this on hand. Another way to exercise your child's finger strength is to incorporate lock and key activities into their play. Dollar Store has these single lock packs, so I just grabbed six of them along with these small dot stickers to use as a key to lock color match. I think in the future, I might take the stickers off or use numbers just to make it more of a challenge for my kids to figure out how to unlock them. This particular activity is a top favorite for my son when it comes to picking out a busy bag activity. So for this one, I'm just going to combine the two together in this video. In this bag, I have numbers and in this one, I used shapes. These are the same number stickers I have been using for all my activities. And for this, these are pre-cut out shapes made out of construction paper that I got at Walmart. You can also find these on Amazon. Just super easy to have these nicely pre-cut for you already. Then all you have to do is glue them on the wood squares and Mod Podge them. And again, the same goes for these stickers. So I just put them on these wood squares that you can find at the dollar store, but I got these particular ones off of Amazon. You obviously don't need to put them on wood, thick cardstock, or even laminating them on paper for better durability works too. These can work as an individual game for your child to work through, or it can be a matching game that you can do together. They can match the numbers or the shapes together by themselves, or you can turn it into a matching game with multiple players. I love playing matching games with my kids. In one of my other videos, I show how I used the colored dot stickers to play. And so in this one, I'm showing you how you can also use these number stickers and shape cutouts to play the same game as well. Well, there you have it. 10 activities that, as you can see, are super fun and easy to put together. And it's so awesome to make so many activities, but with the same materials that you already have on hand. If you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell as I have a ton of ideas to make learning fun for you and your toddlers. And stay tuned for my next video as we continue on with these busy bags for your toddlers and preschoolers. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!